Ryan is a typical high school uh, student. He loves skateboarding. Uh, he's had a crush on Claire for a while now. And um, it's kind of an exciting time because Claire, he has kind of an in with Claire now because, well, unbeknownst to him, you know, she, she's discovered this box. And his in is like, uh, oh, let me help you uh, translate because we're taking Chinese together, the same class together. And so um, he's really excited, but he doesn't know what he's in for, obviously. They're definitely not in the same clique. Um, different uh, social groups in school for sure. Claire is, I feel like, you know, Ryan's hangs out with the skaters. Claire's like a good student. She hangs out with like the normal kids. Um, but obviously in high school, you always have like a hierarchy of like the popular kids and not so popular kids. And then the degenerates like me who are skateboarding on the side. Um, but you know, I think that's a, and, and so Claire, for Claire's character, she's, she's wrestling with the fact of like, okay, who am I? Where do I fit in, in this world of high school? And um, you see in the film, like she struggles with that and also has an opportunity to jump up. I, I don't know, it's jump up seems kind of crazy, but um, to go into a different clique and see what that's like. But you know, that's pretty normal, I feel like, for, for people in high school. And uh, it's an exciting time to kind of learn about yourself and you know, to see where you fit into this world and also you know, where you're gonna go to college and things like that. But also, um, it's, a very, it's a very sensitive time because there's a lot of bullying that could happen and all those things. But um, yeah, so it touches upon that a little bit. So I think there's a lot of things in this movie that uh, especially high school students can relate to. John, um, I lucked out, man. John is an amazing director to work with. He's very collaborative, which I love. He actually called me before I even came up here to shoot and was like, hey, do you have a moment to sit down and uh, talk about this? And he sent me like three pages of notes of just Ryan and what he was thinking um, in terms of the script. And um, he wrote down like all the scenes and he broke it down for me. He's like, hey, I think for Ryan, like he's going through this and this and this. And straight off the bat, like we saw pretty much eye to eye on most things. So it's been really easy, really, it's been a breeze working with him. Um, he does have these funny, funny sayings though, which uh, Joanne and I have been enjoying immensely. Okay. He says like, I don't know, he has these weird, uh, weird, weird, weird uh, things that he says about things like, oh, that's like, a, that's like a weird chingus over there. And if something goes wrong, if there's like two problems or something, he goes like, oh, that's a chingus and a domingus. You gotta get rid of that or something like that. And it's like another good one that Joey and I love is like funky Medina. Like he's like, oh, that's a funky Medina, man. I know, and we're trying to figure out a scene or whatever, but um, that just speaks to, to John's charm and also his, I guess, uh, his love for trying to figure out a scene or like trying to like make this uh, script make sense to people and to to film it in a way where it's entertaining and fun but also scary at the same time. So, yeah, it's been it's been great. If you like the thrill of being scared and you love scary movies and you love a good horror flick, check this movie out. It should be a it should be a fun ride. Hey Lisa here, so are you a movie lover? Well, in this day and age we see hundreds of movies a year in numerous genres like action, comedy, romance and more. Some of these movies are great and some just don't live up to our expectations. For all you movie lovers out there, here are some interesting facts from movies that you might or might not know. In the movie Carrie, the end of the movie was shot in reverse order, a technique of the film to make scenes look more ghost-like. A close viewing of the film will show cars moving in reverse. What do the 101 Dalmatians and Wendy from Peter Pan have in common? The 102 characters are the only characters in Disney's past to have both of their parents present and alive for the whole course of the movie. Gone with the Wind producers were fined $5,000 for allowing obscenities in the film's dialogue. The offensive and expensive word, damn. One of the films Will Smith is best known for almost didn't happen. The actor didn't want to participate in Men in Black until his wife persuaded him otherwise. In the film Monsters, Inc., Boo has a woody doll. That's the famous cowboy from Toy Story. Gilderoy Lockhart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets was based on a former boyfriend of writer J.K. Rowling. 
I Know Who Killed Me, starring Lindsay Lohan, has had the most Razzie Awards ever given to a film. Now, the Razzies are awards for the worst in movies. So, did you know any of these facts? Did you find them interesting? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.